It's been pretty nice, right, outside with the weather we've been having lately. Um, it's been so nice that it's convinced our plants that it's spring. They're confused, and maybe you are too. Maybe you've noticed some of your trees starting to bud, or even some blue bonnets already out there popping up along the highways. Chris Davis joins us now because, Chris, that 40-plus degree temperature drop that David has been talking about, first thing that came to mind was, oh, that's not good for those flowers. Yeah, definitely not good if those flowers or the buds on all the trees start to freeze. They might just not come back mm -hmm. this year, and that's bad for the plants, of course, the landscape, but also for our pollinators. It's a confusing time to be a plant. Confusing, too, for the planters. Okay, okay. 30-year gardener Sherry Mason couldn't leave the great outdoors with an empty basket. You got to feed that green thumb. It's just this urge to grow stuff. But what? A lot of this is uh, cool season plants, and I'm kind of debating on whether to put them in since it's the February and things are so warm already. So warm, plants like this mountain laurel are in full bloom already weeks early. Things seem to be just popping and I'm a little worried because it's February 3rd. We're not ready. Great Outdoors General Manager Adam Coffin says this tree will be in trouble in a freeze. So will the wildflowers that are out already. They'll likely die if they're not covered. If they're blooming now, that's going to decrease the amount of blooms later. And fewer blooms means less food for bees. It's just uh, blooms and the bees love it. Sherry's noticed some of her plants blooming a month and a half early too. She worries the problem will grow. If they're already starting to bloom, it just makes me think that summer's coming pretty early and we're going to have longer, more severe summers. So you might also notice that your garden seems a bit more full this spring and into summer. So usually plants will die back a bit in the cold and then have to regrow. But without the cold, that's not really happening as much. So Sally, those plants are really just growing and growing and they, they could get a lot bigger yeah. this year. Now, if you can't wait until <laughs> the freeze threat is definitely gone to start planting, if you're just itching to get into the garden, some good options right now, evergreens, trees, and shrubs mm -hmm. are good to plant right now, as well as uh, flowers like snapdragons, pansies, and violas. Well,